good day guys this is Yusuf Amisu I welcome you all to this tutorial as you begin your graphic design journey so today I'm going to show you how to use pixel lab uh, first of all you need to know that pixel lab is a very interesting app for graphic design you can design virtually everything using pixel lab so let's start first of all when you open your pixel lab this is how it is going to display this is the interface of pixel lab so this is your working space this is a canvas we call it canvas okay so let's start from the top this plus uh, icon you are seeing right here when you press it it's going to give you options to add text current date stickers let's let's add a text okay let's let's let delete this one just click here click here in order to delete your text so okay when you want to uh, add text to your design this is this is it this is how this is why you press just and you can just click here it will give you options to uh use the uh, this text many options you can edit your text you can just click here to edit it right wherever you want okay okay so you can see you can delete it here okay so you can undo that if you just made a mistake you can just click here in order to bring up back okay so let me just click and see I now I brought back my text so this one is for copy you can use it to copy text this one to front uh, this one when you want to take your text or element any design element to your to front use it you know how to do that later so this one is position you can use it to move your text or any other design element pictures shapes etc you can use it to move it or forward down or i hope you are seeing okay so this one is relative position this one will allow you to place your text or any other design element uh, this one will make it at the center this one at the middle okay so let me see this one just place the text at the at the center okay you can see okay, this one will make sure that your text is at the middle at the exact middle of of the of your of your uh, working space okay you can see so now it is at the exact middle this one at the extreme edge this one oh sorry This one, when you want to, I hope you are just seeing the option. Do okay, so that's relative position. Then the next thing is size. So, okay, this is size. You can click it in order to increase size. You can use this plus or minus icons to either increase. Or decrease your text. I hope you are seeing. Then the next thing is color. You can sorry for that. You can choose. Yeah, you can color your text. These are uh, different colors. This is one. This one you can change to gradient as well. Gradient. This is for multiple colors. When you want to use multiple colors for your for your text I hope you are seeing so this one when you want to change I'm just going to show you the basic ones the ones you need to know for now so this one for fonts when you want to change fonts see the many text already many inbox text in pixel lab can also import uh, these are the fonts that I downloaded and I imported them to my pixel lab okay 
okay these are the points i recently used okay so uh, different options okay so in the next thing is this uh this b icon you are seeing right here this one you can use to borderline your text to board your text this one is you want if you want to italize your text okay you want to make it italics so this one when you want to underline and you can undo what you did all what you, did, you can undo it by by just clicking by just clicking this one this okay you can undo it okay so okay so let's go this one is for cup when you want cup your design cup your uh, text okay so this one is for background you want to add background to your text okay so there are many options and i think this uh, these are the basic ones you need to know for now as a beginner so this one is for stroke i will show you that later okay so then if you want to change your background the background of your things i love uh, for your design you just click here and then you click this color and you change to if you want to use multiple colors for your background you can use gradient but for now we want to use color so this there are many different colors okay you can also click here this plus icon you are seeing to pick the exact color you want to use you can see this are this is your color wheel okay you can use it choose any color you want okay so you can also click here in order to pick a color maybe you want to pick a color from a picture or from a design you want to pick the exact color you can use it but for now we don't have any picture so let's go back i'll show you how to do that later so that's for colors okay let's, let's turn the color so the next thing i want to show you is shapes come back here to click our shape uh, plus icon again brought out a shape okay so this is a shape okay you can just click here in order to choose many types of font uh, shapes okay so there are many shapes in pixel lab As you can see there are uh, squares cycles semicycles arrows triangles etc there are many different fonts uh, shapes in pixel lab okay so you can just you can change the color when you scroll down you have options for your you can change the color of that uh, shapes okay and here is opacity if you want to reduce the intensity sorry here is opacity sorry it is here top top here so this is the intensity uh, of st you can, if you want to change uh, the intensity or let's call it uh, the, the thickness of your uh, shape you can use it you can you can see you can increase and decrease it depending on how you want it okay so then you can as well okay so you this one is for shapes this one is, is for shapes and image you give you options all these options as you know this one is for text okay this one will give you option for text but uh, but if you want if you are using a, a shape or an image you, you need to click here that will give you options on, on how to deal with your shape or image okay so that's it okay so i uh, see there are many options here you can delete copy okay you can also profit okay so i'm not going to do that you can take your 
Yeah, let me follow this. Okay, so you can take it if you want to take this uh, shape. This uh, the shape I just followed. If you want to take it to the back of that uh, yellow shape, you can just click at this uh, to back. Okay. But if you want to rotate it back to front, you just click to front. Okay. So this is position. You can see you can use it to move your shapes okay and this is relative position i already showed you that you can use it to centralize your text okay your design element whether it takes image or something this is relative position if you want a relative size if you want to increase the size and the size in increasing If you increase the width, the the height also will increase, and vice versa. Okay. So, color here. This is color. Okay. You can also choose gradient. Okay. You have seen. This is texture. When you want, uh, when you want your shape to take. A texture of something maybe an image okay you can just upload image click here to upload image from a gallery okay let's say for example this this picture okay so now let's see okay i'm going to show you that later but for now let's just move on okay so i think these are what you need to know for now so next is i'm going to show you a picture uh, how to upload a picture from your gallery this is, you just click here from your gallery you click your plus icon then you click at from gallery okay then you you can just then you can click back here in order to uh, choose from the folder you want to take your image from Upload your image from okay so uh, we hope you are seen yes we lost upload this okay you just click as image then you click here okay so you can see now I uploaded the picture I already removed the background of the image okay so so that's it can click here if you want to edit or do something to the image you can click here there are options just like with the shapes over here so i think the next thing you need to know is uh, this icon you are seeing right here you you use it in order to control your elements the element you, you are using your design you can use it Okay, if you click it, you can manage them all here. You can use this this uh, lock you are seeing right here. You can use it to lock your design, your element. Okay, so if you lock your design element, you can no longer you can't move it. Move it. Okay, so you see, you can see, I cannot move it. Click it, but you cannot move it. Okay, so. Okay, this one you can use it to hide it okay you can this uh, eye icon you have seen here you can use it to hide it okay and you can as well unhide it okay? if you are seeing what i'm doing so just like the uh, just like the image okay the the text and shapes also okay the same thing okay okay the next thing is is when you click this one you have to click it again in order to in order to undo and click it okay in order to exit from there you need to click it again okay so so uh, the next thing is this one this one you then numerous options 
the important ones one is you in which you which uh, image size when you want to choose image for your, for your design size for your design when you want you come here there are, you can click here in order to choose there are many input uh, sizes for your design you can see there are custom size square for viral picture youtube banner for file facebook cover at youtube thumbnail etc okay so you can as well you, you can as well edit uh, these pivots okay these pixels okay depending on the size of the design depending on what we are going to design okay so this one you use image from gallery just like the same thing just like how we uh, upload this image the same thing okay so I think okay so I have already shown you that okay you can use this in order to send your design okay in order to send your design directly maybe to uh, Facebook Twitter in order to share it okay to Facebook Twitter okay but you don't want to do that okay you have to save your design first this one contain quotes okay design quotes okay so when you want to design quotes okay let's see you can see there are many quotes here you can use them if you want okay then this one if you want to make your uh if you want to align your elements you can use this okay and in order to make sure that your design elements are aligned okay so you have to click it again in order to exit from there so this one when you want to zoom okay when you want to zoom your design okay so you have to click it again in order to exit okay so so i think the next thing is then is this one when you are done with your design you can just click here in order to save you first need to save your as project saving as project means you save it in your pixel lab so that you can come back and assist assist it later maybe you want to change something you want to edit something so you can save your image always save your design as project first before saving them in your gallery so you can name it and click at okay it will be it will be saved to your gallery Okay, save to your pixel lab. Okay, and you can just you can click here. You can click here. You can click at my project, so you can see your project. So these are all the designs I did in my pixel lab. Okay, I hope you're seeing. These are my projects. Okay, so then it next is save save as. Uh, Save save as save in save as image okay so that's that's when you want to save your design to your gallery okay so you first need to choose this okay you can save either as JPEGs or as PNG okay but it is advisable you save your work as PNG okay so then uh, dimension you see you always use ultra or baby height always use ultra it's available you use ultra always save as ultra so can you look at save this one png png and ultra okay then you click at save as gallery so, and you, you go and see it in your gallery okay i think that's all you need to know for now so let's stop here see you next time